Today on Animal Fact Files, we're discussing giant centipedes. While arthropods that are longer than your hand may seem like something from prehistoric times, giant centipedes are alive and well. There are nearly 300 described giant centipede species, meaning they make up about 10% of all described centipedes. Giant centipedes live worldwide from tropical to temperate regions. These have a flattened body and typically 21 pairs of legs, one per body segment. But this varies among the species, with some doubling this amount. Millipedes have two pairs of legs per body segment, which separates them from centipedes, just in case you were wondering. They can still get massive, though. Millipedes also don't bite, but centipedes absolutely bite. Well, sort of. Like all centipedes, a giant centipede's front legs are modified fangs that inject venom. They have fang legs. So a centipede's bite is more like a pinch, and they can pinch from either end. It can be difficult to tell a centipede's head from its rear, but this is by design. If a giant centipede is grabbed towards the rear end, its front can whip around and deliver a painful sting. All centipedes use these to inject venom and catch prey, but giant centipedes eat a large range of prey due to their huge size. Typical fare includes worms, insects, and spiders, but they'll also munch on toads, prawns, and even bats. They've been documented hanging from cave ceilings to catch bats in flight. And if that's not nightmare-inducing enough, some species are amphibious, meaning they spend some of their time in water. Giant centipedes have been known to attack humans, but this is almost always after provocation. Of course, sometimes you can't help it when you sit on your couch and disturb the centipede sleeping on the cushion. There are documented deaths from giant centipedes, but these are rare. One report was of a child, and another was of a woman who was allergic, and had been repeatedly bitten over time. Allergic reaction is the biggest threat from a giant centipede's sting. It's described as something like a scorpion or wasp sting. And having been stung on the neck by one, I can assure you it's not pleasant. But I did survive. Aside from pain, swelling, decreased ability to breathe, and high blood pressure are all reported from giant centipede bites. So give them space if you encounter them. If you're bitten and feel short of breath, seek medical attention immediately. Thankfully, giant centipedes can be beneficial too. They're great for dispatching pest animals in our homes if they find themselves stuck inside. The dry environment inside many human dwellings often kills them after just a few days. They need moisture to survive. Leaf litter, under logs and rocks, in wood and caves, these are all excellent places to find a giant centipede. Or avoid if you never want to see one in real life. These animals are nocturnal, and they get most of their water from their meals. Giant centipedes wouldn't get that common name without reason. These are the longest living centipedes. They can reach nearly a foot in length, though smaller species only reach about half this size. Males and females are nearly impossible to tell apart. The male deposits a spermatophore, which the female picks up to fertilize her eggs. Like other centipedes, she'll remain with them, wrapping her body around them, until they hatch and are able to feed themselves. The largest giant centipedes can live to be 10 years old, though smaller species may not live as long. Predators to giant centipedes include coyotes, bobcats, badgers, owls, and more. When they run to escape a foe, they don't make a break for it in a straight line but instead run in a zigzag pattern to disorient the attacker. For more facts on giant centipedes, check out the links below. Give a thumbs up if you learned something new today. Thank you to our patrons, SpikeSpeagle93, Dad, and everyone else for their support of this channel. And thank you for watching Animal Fact Files.